Hey guys, Hector here again with yet another American Holiday video. And this past Sunday was Easter, which I know isn't really just an American holiday. It's celebrated all, all over the world, especially for those countries that have, you know, Christian and Catholic populations and stuff like that. But I wanted to talk about some of the traditions and kind of things that we do here in the United States that don't revolve around religion because of course the religious people go to church on Easter Easter Sunday because it's always on a Sunday I think it's the first Sunday of April maybe I'm not 100% sure because I'm not really religious anymore but there's still a lot of people that do a lot of different things which revolve around an Easter bunny I'm not sure if people around the world know about Easter bunnies or if it's just an American thing. I think they might have it in Europe too. I'm not 100% sure. But first, I just want to talk about the clothing. A lot of people for Easter, they wear spring colored clothing like light blue, light yellow, sometimes I think pinkish and white, stuff like that. So usually people wear more festival or spring colored clothes for Easter. And then... We do things revolving around this Easter Bunny. I'm not exactly sure how the Easter Bunny came to be. I think it was kind of a, of a pagan type thingy about rabbits and rebirth or something. Anyway, so supposedly, kind of like Santa Claus, a whole mythology, there's this rabbit, <clears throat> a big, I think sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small, that goes around hiding eggs and other treats for people. Again, I don't know how they came up with this. I think it's this long history of stuff. But in some malls around the United States, they have people that dress up in this huge rabbit costume and kids sometimes take pictures with them. Now, like, hey, you got to take your picture with the Easter Bunny. But you can probably look up online. A lot of people, a lot of kids, small kids, that go and try and take their pictures with these Easter Bunnies end up getting freaked out and they start crying and then you know they have pictures of all these kids all freaking out oh my god an easter bunny and so you can probably see those pictures online but um honestly i don't think i ever really believed in an easter bunny i just cared about you know all the treats and stuff that we get and all the fun stuff that we do for easter because it didn't really make sense to believe in a giant rabbit or something that goes around hiding treats and eggs it just didn't really make sense to me. So, and well, let's talk about the treats. A lot of kids get these baskets baskets that are usually wicker woven, kind of like thin wood or something. Sometimes they're just plain brown. Sometimes they're colorful. And sometimes they're not even wicker baskets. Like this year, my, uh, my mother got her grandchildren a bunch of plastic buckets to put treats in. And then inside these buckets, there's usually different candies, usually a chocolate bunny and peeps, which are basically marshmallows in the shapes of baby chickens, you know, little chicks that are covered in sugar, I guess. And then there's usually various egg shaped chocolates and candies. And the baskets usually have these fake grass type things in them. Sometimes they're green, sometimes they're yellow or other pink colors spring colors and so they put that stuff in there and like i said we usually have chocolate bunnies different shapes and the cheapest ones are usually hollow bunnies so they there might be this huge bunny shaped chocolate and then it's hollow inside and then it's like oh it's a cheap chocolate bunny easter bunny but then the good ones are solid sometimes like these ones they have little rice krispies in them Sometimes there's other fillings in them. And um, I already mentioned the peeps. And then there's jelly beans is usually another pretty common Easter candy. And then we have the Cadbury egg, which is, they have small ones too that come in a dozen pack. It's basically a chocolate egg with a cream center. And then they also have caramel centers and I think fudge centers, different ones. And these are these used to be my favorite until I started getting cavities and then they hurt like hell to eat. But they wrap them in a foil that's right around the egg and it's so annoying to take off. And 
you usually end up getting chocolate under your nails trying to pull the foil off. And there's usually a bunch of different egg-shaped candies. Sometimes common candies that aren't normally egg-shaped are given an egg shape for Easter. Like we have Reese's milk chocolate and peanut butter cups. They usually look like this and then they're in a cup shape and then for Easter they put them in an egg shape. And then they have M&Ms which are usually those circular candy coated chocolates and then for Easter they give them an egg shape. Sometimes there's bubble gum in egg shapes. And then we also have these malt balls. And if you don't know what a malt ball is, it's basically like this hard, crunchy center. And sometimes there's chocolate around the edge and sometimes it's just this kind of cream thing around, around the outside, I should say. And so most people make hard boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs, and then once they get the egg, they paint them. Sometimes people that want to spend a lot of time in it will get a paintbrush and paint them one by one, maybe put some stickers on it and do it all special. But most people just get vinegar and then they put a food coloring drop in it and then they just drop the egg into this concoction and then that paints the egg. And then once the egg is all dried, they, the adults take those eggs and hide them around their yard or sometimes they go to certain areas like I believe um, some churches hold Easter egg hunt competitions and so they get these eggs they hide them around and then kids have to go and find them and sometimes they're hard-boiled eggs and sometimes they're just these plastic eggs that can pop open and then sometimes other treats are put inside them and sometimes money is put inside them so I believe that's about it we make all these eggs and then we go hide them for the kids to find and that's called an Easter egg hunt. And then of course it's usually a family holiday. And I don't want to say a lot of stores are closed for Easter. Sometimes stores are closed for Easter and you know, while it's a Sunday so not all businesses are open usually. It just depends on the business I guess. But most of the common businesses you know the retail stores like you know walmart and target that are around the united states those aren't closed for easter but i guess more you know mom and pop stores usually do close which but you don't really see a lot of those these days you know those are kind of gone out of business for the bigger bigger retail stores at least in the bigger cities but that's about it for easter i hope i'm not forgetting anything and so if you appreciate me doing this video, you can give it a thumbs up. And um, comment in this video and tell me what you guys do for Easter if you celebrate Easter in a different country outside of the United States. Because I'm not sure if there's an Easter Bunny in the European type countries. I'm not 100% sure though. And so I guess that's it. And you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more American holiday videos or just other American videos, you know, related to traditions. And even I think I put some English lessons up already, so yeah. And that's about it, so I'll see you guys later.